<laughs> you guys see that crap? Oh my god, I was reeling this in. Okay, looks like there's a deep spot right over there, huh? All right. This is a stretch of the river that I have never fished before. But as we make our way up, this is like the fastest stretch. And there's a really big gorge up here, so it doesn't get fished very often. I know that. It takes a certain type of individual to climb around in this type of gorge, I think. So... I think, even though I'm starting late today, it's like 4 p.m. And people probably already fished a bunch of this river today. I think this section should still be pretty good. I'm excited to get to fishing. I actually just checked into the Hungry Trout Resort right down the street, and I've never been there before. But it's the perfect hotel to fish the high peak section of this river. So I'm excited about that. The location is prime. I'm going to start off with double paradigms just because I think the little stuff should probably be what they're after. I just wanted to fish what's right in front of me. Before I get too far out there because that's deep out there. That is deep. And if you can see the bottom. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I almost fell in the water already. You got to be real careful here because it's a lot deeper than it looks. The water's clear, flowing pretty good. And there's pretty big craters in between all these rocks. Oh, I don't know if I'm actually even going to be able to get out as far as I want to without soaking everything in my pockets. But I really want to be able to get out and fish this section over here. This section over here. And really it looks like maybe I should go get my dry fly rod because there's little bugs everywhere. Ooh, that got real deep real quick. <laughs> I almost went swimming. Maybe we got to change the bottom fly out. Something a little bigger. I just thought they would eat one of these paradigms pretty quickly. Maybe I was wrong. Or maybe I haven't got to where the fish are yet. fish <laughs> there we go where'd my net go i knew there had to be some fish in here where are you bud <sighs> okay we got fish number one of the day well trout number one of the day i'll take that not the biggest fish in the world and i know there's got to be a bigger one in there but I think we can find some more. Fish. <laughs> that might be a little bit better one. <laughs> Man. Oh, he's gone. These are barbless. He looked to be about the same size, actually. There's got to be a bigger fish in there, but I can't cast the way I want to, and I don't feel like switching these flies out just yet. So, we're going to move up a little bit. Hopefully, there's no rattlesnakes right here. That would suck. Ugh. Ugh. Really, it's a little bit warmer out today. 
some of these fish should either be in the deeper stuff or the faster stuff. Fish. <laughs> like I said, in the faster stuff. <laughs> He's got some cool colors too though. Here we go. Later bud. <laughs> he just came out of that real fast stuff right there. So I'm thinking the faster, a little bit deeper stuff is gonna be able to take it this afternoon. Alright, so the reason I think the fish should be in the little bit faster stuff today is because Today it was in the 70s. And when the water gets a little bit warmer, there's less oxygen in it. And in this tumbling fast stuff, it creates a lot more oxygen. So it's better for the fish. So they'll either be in this faster stuff like this, or the real deep stuff today, I think. Fish. That might be an even better one. This is more current. Oh, that is a little bit better one. <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> he ate the red Spanish bullet too. <laughs> man, oh man. Glad I tied these things. That's a little bit better one. Not huge, but decent fish. Later, bud. <laughs> oh, can we pull another one out of this little hole? Maybe, but there's some big holes that I'm trying to get to, so I'll take a couple more casts in here and then we're moving up. All right. So I just put a three mil bead on here instead of a 2.5 mil bead on the bottom see if we can't get down a little bit farther and I also extended my tippet by about two feet so let's see if maybe that helps us out this looks like a pretty good pool right here there should be something in here well there should be multiple fish in here but I think this should help me get a little bit deeper a little bit faster and help me stay tighter to my cider but have you just seen that? I can't see my cider. So I'm gonna have to go up on the side of this and fish this from the side. Try to get rid of that glare. I can't fish it upstream. I can't fish it upstream because of the glare. Oh, there's a fish in there. I had a fish. fish <laughs> I thought I got bit in there <laughs> oh he ate the top one <laughs> hey little buddy you off now it's barbless yep come on dude this dude ate the top fly and he's out of here whoa see ya <laughs> oh man I can't believe he ate the top bug I'll take it. Okay, this is a little, oh, I almost died because of my freaking net. Oh, shoot, the camera wasn't even on. I was starting to get discouraged and we got another one. One of the bigger ones of the day. Bam. Let him go quickly. Later, bud. There's one. <laughs> that might be a decent one, too. <laughs> that fish ain't in the same spot as the other one. And you ate the bottom one. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you ate the red Spanish bullet, too. 
Ooh. Later, bud. I'm not casting in there. And my son is starting to duck behind the mountain, so I might be screwed here pretty quickly. But we're at least going to try to catch one or two more before we got to climb out of here. Looks like there's actually a trail right here. Ugh, somebody's walked this before a couple times. <laughs> My Atlanta. Normally I fish my own flies. I like to catch fish on flies that I tied, but <clears throat> I wanted to try something different, a little bit bigger. See if it, maybe we can get a bigger fish to eat like that. I put a stone on in my second cast. I got the biggest fish of the day, I think. It's a barbless stone though, so. Come over here, dude. Oh, he's digging. Come up, please. Thank you. And that's the most stalker fish I've seen all day. <laughs> I was starting to lose hope. We got this dude. Later, bud. Fish. <laughs> My Atlanta. Apparently, they like the stone. I should have put this on a long time ago. <laughs> He's gone, that's a barbless hook. <laughs> Shoot. More? He's got some scent on it now. <laughs> there was another one in there. All right, I've hooked four fish in like the same spot, so. I almost doubt that that's going to happen again, but might as well try. Come on. One more in here. Let's go. I know you're in here. Fish. <laughs> That's just a little guy. Come on, where's the big one at? <laughs> He's gone. Those flies are barbless, so he just let himself go. <laughs> Man. Okay. Last time I was on this river, they didn't want the big flies. They wanted the small stuff. Today, they want the stones. They want the stones. Don't try this at home. I don't want to get stuck in here, so I'm going out this way. But, probably not the smartest idea I've ever had. I thought there was a foothold I could use right here. I'm wrong. I just gotta jump. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> All right, you guys. I just hiked back to the car, grabbed a different rod. And we're going to see. We can't get a dry fly muncher. Ah. He hit one dry fly fish. Are you joking? <laughs> Do you guys see that crap? Oh my god, I was reeling this in. <laughs> There's my dry fly fish. <laughs> he wanted it skated. <laughs> man, oh man. It's getting freaking dark out here, but we got one on the dry. Thank you, bud. He inhaled that fly. And he's out of here. No, it's hard, it's not impossible. <laughs> Tell them there's no limit, I'm unstoppable. Stop myself and guilt, then it's possible. Nobody else, nobody else who play the fool. Maybe I was born just to break the rules Stop the water for the money and fill up my pool Not my morals or my dignity, we keep it cool Just to work for the system, use you like a tool How efficient do we use ourselves? That's like the story you're telling someone else's tales All that chit chat, that chit chat will make you feel Try to worry less and really worry about yourself I learned the hard way, the hard way would damage health Listen to that voice within, gotta know yourself